He was exactly the same as a kid. Any opportunity to wind me up or play some foolish trick on me. Liar, I, I'm surprised your pants aren't actually smoldering. He's five years older than me, Jenny. I made my childhood a living hell. Rubbish! I was his protector. I was always getting you out of trouble. Oh, yeah, like the time my tooth came out and you told me if I listened hard enough, I'd be able to hear it talking to me. Yeah, well, he was gullible. <laughs> I was four years old. Oh, sorry, correction, four years old in the A&E, screwing my head off because I had a flaming baby tooth stuck in my ear canal. Never! <laughs> he said it had gone into my brain. Yeah, and then he told Mum, I got a proper beating for that. Please. We never got beat. You never? I always took him for you. <laughs> Look, Ed. Sorry about the camper van. Thought you'd love it. Well, maybe I was a bit hard on you, but after everything else that's happened... You gonna make me beg? All right, you're forgiven, but no more of your stupid surprises, right? That's a deal. Of all the gin joints in all the world. Oh, I said that before, right, for Nathan? Cat. Hello again. Uh, Jen, this is Cat, Ronnie's business partner. <laughs> Bit more than that. I'm his wife. I suppose our wedding invitation was lost in the post. You never said you were married. It's come as a bit of a shock to me and all of was separated. Oh, look, Ron, I've come all this way. Again. And you can toodle all the way back again. We're done, finished, kaput. It's all over, bar the divorce party. Ronnie, can we at least talk somewhere in private without all and sundry getting an earful? No. I'm having a drink with my brother. And my brother-in-law. Might be nice to get to know each other, seeing as we're family. Gin and tonic, large. I need it after that train journey from civilization. It's funny to think I never heard of Weatherfield before this year. Mind you, I always thought Grimsby was a made-up place before I saw someone in the news there being interviewed about fish. I have many questions, beginning with, why didn't you two tell me you were married the first time we met? I was trying to forget. Oh. Should have joined the Foreign Legion. Look, I don't suppose you do food in a place like this? Only bits and pieces we find in the neighbour's bins and the odd pigeon that gets run over. So, you know, we struggle through. Just crisps, then. Any flavour, except smoky bacon and not plain. Can never see the point, can you? <laughs> there you go. Mm, nice service in here, I must say. And the crisps? Sorry. Trying to be socially distant. Maybe we should uh, go somewhere private. Oh, no, no, no. Not while I'm just starting to enjoy myself. <laughs> and FYI, never insult the North to a Northerner. Oh, no, no, no. Don't mind me. No, I'm finishing up soon. Gotta go and polish my clogs and put tea towels through mangle. So come on then, fill me in. When did you meet? Three years ago. Ibiza. It was magical. He proposed to me when we were skinny dipping in the sea at my favourite hotel in Salinas. And a week later, we tied the knot. Blimey. It was a real whirlwind romance. More like a tornado with sharks in. <laughs> Shark <-nado. laughs> Sorry. We were happy that first year. Until I found out that her and my best man were seeing each other behind my back. He was helping me learn to water ski. At first. Oh. She learned to do it on one leg. You are making it sound worse than it was. You were cheating on me before the ink was even dry on our wedding certificate. How could it be any worse? I still love you. <laughs> and she has come a very long way. No, you don't. And even if you did, all I can picture is you with him. Look, you can sulk all you like. But if you don't get your head back in the game, we're going to lose the business. <laughs> Sign the divorce papers and I'll think about it. Ron, come back to London. What is keeping you here? My family. I'm your family. No, you, my dear, are trash. So long. Or as they say in Ibiza, adios. <laughs> this just isn't you, Ronnie. A filthy back street in the middle of nowhere. Call me when you come to your senses. She seems nice. <laughs> 